Hello again, everyone. You're joining us for another episode of Executive Platform's Blueprint Podcast Series. My name is Jeff Mix. I'm Head of Content and Research. My guest today is Derek Bilby of AFMS. Um, I've had the pleasure of speaking with Derek a couple times in the past and some of the other members of the AFMS team. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Derek, thank you so much for joining me today. Morning, Jeff. Great to see you again. So, I mean, maybe I want to start off by saying what the difference is between the last time we talked and now. Um, Executive Platform's uh, asks all of the delegates to come to our events to fill in a a profile and uh, among the questions that they're getting asked is, you know, what are some of the top business challenges you're facing? And Mm -hmm. as you could imagine, for years it's been resiliency. It's been, we need to be prepared for the unexpected. We're living in an age of disruption. And this year I was so surprised, cost control and contract Mm -hmm. management and, you know, figuring out ways to afford things in a world that keeps getting more expensive. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have something to talk about with Derek when he comes into the... So let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about controlling costs in a more expensive world. Sure. Fantastic, Jeff. Uh, great uh, being back here with you, number one, because it has been a year since our conversation. Last conversation, we were talking about growth and trajectory and how to manage growth within your uh, parcel and LTL contracts. Today, very differently, we are talking about cost containment. So I am hearing that directly from my customers and my prospects. So coming here to NACES is absolutely, sounds like everyone else is experiencing that too. So look forward to number one, new conversations with new faces, but similar experiences over the last year. UPS and FedEx have both found that it is a contracting market out there in parcel world. And I think uh, if you look at the carriers that are out there, carriers are contracting. So LTL carriers, but also parcel carriers. You have a consolidation effort with OnTrack and LaserShip in the last year. But what we're hearing right now is how to manage a decline of 5, 10, 15% volume and revenue on the top line and how do you manage costs on the bottom line? And that's what we do. Everything that we do from a consultancy perspective is bottom line cost containment, cost controls, cost reductions. So excited to be here to talk about that. And I think it's actually a bit of a breath of fresh air to hear supply chain executives get back to what they're good at. The thing that actually makes them a competitive advantage for the business is getting into these kinds of like brass tack details. So what is some of the advice that you're giving your clients when they're saying these are the challenges we're facing right now? Yeah, what's really unique with AFMS is our pedigree of the personnel that are on the team. So we have about 60 folks around the world that are all former carrier executives. That makes us extraordinarily unique. So I myself used to work for UPS, our CEO of the company, Mike Erickson, started with Airborne Express, which had been acquired by DHL, and he pioneered this industry 33 years ago. So when he set uh, out into the marketplace, his ultimate goal was to find folks that have a pedigree like myself, that have the ability to have a conversation with a supplier, with with a purchaser, but also understand what's happening behind the scenes in the UPS and FedEx negotiation world. So he's gone out and hired folks from UPS, FedEx, DHL, the post office, uh, regional parcel companies, LTL companies. So we have intimate knowledge when you sit at a, a negotiation table with a carrier, what that buyer is gonna be going through. What's the roadmap? What are the conversation talking points? What are the levers to pull on? And we're really enabling better conversations between our customer, the purchaser, and the carrier by being able to kind of level the playing field and whisper things in the ear and say, hey, here's how you could do uh, this contract negotiation better. Here's a better outcome. And we start with a free contract assessment and with a no commitment on doing that assessment right up front. So we're going to know what the ROI is for all of our potential customers before they even sign with us. One of the things I find so interesting about what AFMS does is Mm -hmm. because you have that perspective from the other side of the table, you can level the playing field in a way where it's not taking advantage of anybody. It's building mutually beneficial agreements with a long-term partner. You're not out to uh, skin the sheep. You're out to make sure everybody is having a good time as shepherds of a flock trying to build their business together. Yeah, absolutely. So I think from our perspective, uh, being a consultant and a good consultant is understanding our customers have existing relationships with their carriers. It is important that their product and their uh, on-time delivery occurs. Our role is to not be disruptive at all with our customers. So we want to enable better conversations. So how we look at it is holistically in the negotiation cycle, our customers should have 
better conversations, more rewarding conversations, even from a carrier perspective. Customer shows up with better information, a better understanding of where their overall shipping profile is. So when they're actually negotiating a contract and the T's and C's and terms, both parties are really understanding mutually the benefit of having a long-term contract. And long-term, these contracts typically are three plus years long. And of course, the result we're trying to do is make sure everyone's happy when that contract gets signed. Absolutely. So when there's a three-year contract in terms, everyone should walk away from the negotiating table feeling confident and happy with the outcome. So let's talk a little bit about these long-term contracts, because I think supply chain executives who are watching this might be saying, well, when is the right time to partner with an organization like yeah. AFMS? Is it at the very start? Is it you know, a year out from the next round of negotiations? Is it in the middle somewhere? When is the right time to seek your help? Yeah, absolutely. Any time is the right time. Uh, certainly, we have customers that approach us early in the negotiation cycle. Maybe they just negotiated their contract with UPS and FedEx here in 2024, but they're not confident after hearing there's a 2025 rate increase that just was announced on September 13th, this past Friday from FedEx. What's the impact? Is that gonna be a higher rate increase than what we are expecting? They may have some questions. Maybe they considered, they may have overlooked something in that contract, or they had recently heard there's a new delivery area surcharge change with UPS and UPS also just changed their fuel surcharge table uh, here in the last three weeks, uh, ground uh, uh, gas prices or fuel surcharge went up 4% on a domestic basis, no rhyme or reason, full control by UPS. So a customer needs to have those questions, needs to be able to look at it and say, maybe UPS did you do it right? Or have an outside consultant who is able to give some information about, okay, is it the market change? Is it market appropriate? Does your contract protect you and actually contain some of those costs? And those are the things that we'll look at for free with no commitment. I wonder if we could talk a little bit mm -hmm. more about what's happening in the marketplace right now. Because when you were listing yeah. off those two or three pain points, my first thought was, I could have a conversation about that. I could have a conversation about that. There are so many moving pieces in your world. Mm -hmm. Give us an idea of some of the conversation that you might have with clients right now. Yeah, happening today. So multiple things uh, with UPS. Okay, So UPS, a year ago, when we actually had this conversation, increase their driver rate in their Teamster contract, upwards $170,000 per year. So we talked about how do you raise customer prices so customers basically have to pay for that ongoing contracted rate for your drivers to deliver the packages. So how do you do that from a UPS perspective? You raise accessorial rates for clients. So in the last four months, UPS has made three rate changes affecting all customers on a global basis. These are without cost controls in anyone's contract. So for example, here four weeks ago, UPS changed their fuel surcharge table. That table is all under control by UPS. So they dictate whatever their over the road fuel surcharge is per package. Ground fuel surcharge just went up 4% across the board. No rhyme, no reason. Go to the gas pump, prices are coming down a little bit. They shouldn't be going up 4%. Another example, delivery area surcharge, another accessory. Most people don't understand what it is. Back in May, UPS changed 84 zip codes, mainly in Manhattan and Metro New York City. And you'd think that's not a very far delivery outside of you know, a metro area. What they're doing is they're looking to find where there's high volume, high density, but also they're able to pass along a rate increase. So effectively what they're doing is forcing customers to be able to watch their contracts and their rate increase more closely. Now, a lot of customers don't have the time, the bandwidth and the personnel to be able to watch every single item and understand how does that affect 10,000, 100,000, a million packages a year. Our customers are experiencing it and they've hired us to be a watchdog for them, a steward of their contract. So we're proactively advising what that impact is for per client, understanding the revenue adjustment per year, but also then creating a roadmap so the customers can actually go back to the carrier and look to offset or mitigate some of those increases. And that's what we're doing behind the scenes to help our customers with their cost containment efforts. 
I mean, it sounds like a fantastic service. Um, we have covered a lot of ground in this conversation. Yeah. If there were a couple of bullet points you wanted to highlight for people that they should be thinking about further, what are the takeaways you hope they get from this conversation? Yeah, so for today, we want to be able to have our customers have as much data at their fingertips as possible. So their shipping profile, their shipping contracts, and their shipping data, understanding your personal profile from a shipping perspective. That is going to enable you to have better conversations and better planning. Is it better to negotiate now? Better to negotiate in 2025. And then having a free cost assessment of your contracts today. So AFMS does about 1,000 free assessments per year. We've been doing this for 33 years. My folks and my team, former UPS directors, former FedEx directors, pricing staff members are going to unpack where those contracts sit, where the data sits, and be able to tell you what does an ROI look like inside those contracts. And if it makes sense from a customer perspective to go back to the table, go back to the drawing board, or even look for minor adjustments in those contracts, those are the things you're gonna have at your fingertips today. So I would walk away from this conversation is having a free assessment makes complete sense in your efforts for cost containment today. So for people who want to do that or have some specific questions mm -hmm. about their own contract negotiations, their sure. own business circumstances, what is the best way to get in touch? Best way to reach us is AFMS.com info section. We'll have someone on our team reach out to you that day. Well, I encourage everyone to check out that website. Uh, I think it's a great resource, and I've had the pleasure of dealing with AFMS for a number of years now. I think it's a great organization, and it's always a pleasure speaking with Derek. Jeff, always a pleasure. Thank you. You've been listening to another episode of Executive Platform's Blueprint Podcast Series. I've been Jeff Mix. Let's do it again soon.